20 out of 50 U.S. states offer slot machine return statistics, including Delaware. Let's examine the state of Delaware's slots return to player. Delaware has three parimutuel racetracks with video lottery terminals, offering multiple games of video slots, video blackjack, video poker, and video kino. The largest casino in Delaware is Delaware Park. The other casinos are Bally's Dover, renamed from Dover Downs, and Harrington Raceway and Casino in Harrington, 25 miles south of Dover at the Delaware State Fairgrounds. The Delaware Gaming Commission is Delaware Lottery Games. This state agency is responsible for providing gaming regulations for VLT-style gaming machines and table games. At Delaware's casinos, the minimum bet is one penny, while the maximum bet is $2,500. Notably, Delaware has a policy of winner privacy. Gaming terminals fall under this privacy stipulation, so casinos cannot release the names of winners for promotional purposes unless the winner specifies otherwise. Online gaming for real money gambling, including slots as well as poker and other casino games, exists in Delaware, although an online player must be at least 21 and physically located within the state's borders. To help Delaware compete with casinos in neighboring states, all Delaware casinos offer table games of craps, blackjack, and roulette. The availability of other table games depends upon each casino. The minimum and maximum theoretical payout limits for Delaware's gaming machines are 87% and 95% as an annual average for each machine. Games may have a theoretical payout higher than 95% with approval from the director of Delaware Lottery Games. No list is publicly available of which machines the director has given this approval. Delaware's casinos do not directly control the odds of winning on their VLT style slot machines. Instead, Delaware Lottery Games update the odds as directed, remotely and off-site from the casinos. Monthly return statistics are online at Video Lottery Monthly Proceeds and Distributions at Delaware Lottery Games under the latest entry for monthly proceeds and track data. To calculate the player win percent, divide amount won by the amount played, then multiply by 100%. The return statistics for Delaware's racetrack casinos with slot machines goes back to January 1996 for both Bali's Dover and Delaware Park, but only to August 1996 for Harrington Raceway. Before focusing on the last few years, I've plotted these returns since 1996 until the latest, January 2022. But let's reduce the return statistics being plotted to after 2019. Consider 2019 as a baseline, 2020 data as what happened during the global pandemic, and 2021 as a recovery period for the casinos in Delaware. When Bally's Dover and Delaware Park opened in 1996, both started at very low returns. Bally's Dover started under 90%, then dropped even further in its second month to the lowest in its existence so far. Then, both casino racetracks made a slow and steady climb for years. Harrington Park opened a few months later in August 1996 with a high return to player, which was not exceeded for nearly seven years. For almost two decades, a gap existed in return to player for these casinos, such that there was a noticeable difference. During these early years, Delaware Park was the best, Bally's Dover was second best, and Harrington was last. Around early 2012, this ranking changed. While Harrington stayed last, Delaware Park and Bally's Dover began to compete with one another for about five years. Beginning in 2017, Delaware Park gave up its attempts to compete with Bally's Dover and instead began competing with Harrington Raceway at its substantially lower returns. Ballet's Dover proceeded to be uncontested with the highest return for more than the next two years. Since June 2019, Delaware's three casinos have been operating with very similar returns. However, since November 2021, historically lower return Harrington Raceway has had the best return. Delaware Park has dropped to second place and Bally's Dover has dropped to last place. To use win, place, show, horse race terminology, how how long will Harrington Raceway win, Delaware Park place, and Bally's Dover show? Well, it's been consistent for three months. Let's bet it lasts months longer. Now, maybe you prefer Connecticut's tribal casinos. It's a myth that tribal casinos don't have gaming regulations. They're just located in state tribal gaming compacts rather than elsewhere. So if you're a fan of Mohegan Sun or Foxwoods, watch my report on Connecticut return statistics by clicking this video right here, and I'll see you in the next one.